Hello, everyone. We want to welcome you to our webinar today. We're excited to have Rob Boyson and Tyler Hahn from ADP joining us. And before I pass it over to Rob and Tyler, um, they will be presenting on the flexibility of technology with an integrated HCM solution. And I just want to let you know that we are recording this webinar, so it will be available for you to review again and it's going to be in our on-demand webinar library. And if you do have any questions, please feel free to type those into the questions box. We will get them answered during our Q&A time at the end of our session. And so now I'm going to pass it over to Rob to kick off our presentation. Thank you, Angie, and good afternoon, everyone. Good morning, um, where you may be located. Um, Tyler and I are very excited today to introduce a new offering that's developed through the in the coordination with Microsoft and Inovia um, and ADP as well. Um, as of today, ADP and Microsoft with, with Inovia have the ability to connect directly to your ERP Microsoft Dynamics 365 solutions. That presents you a unique um, offering and capability of really combining your full ERP suite to a full HCM end-to-end -end life cycle um, solution. Um, the, all the information within the ADP system will flow directly to the GL and the employee card of the Microsoft Dynamics 365. And we're really excited to present this today. So that being said, Tyler, if you can go to the next slide. Just wanna really go over briefly the agenda. Um, I'm gonna show you a little bit of the market trends, uh, how we're, as ADP being, the largest player in this space, but offering a full end-to-end -end solution, some of the trends clients um, are dealing with on a day-to-day -day basis and how we're addressing those. Uh, we're talking to you about the Workforce Now Marketplace Open Ecosystem for security and dedicated white glove implementation program that is available for all, AD, all Inovia clients, not, not necessarily using the ADP solution today. And then lastly, I'll be passing it to Tyler over to demonstrate the ADP full spectrum um, HCM solution. Go ahead, Tyler. So um, workforce challenges, we're seeing a lot. ADP supports um, a third of the market um, in the mid-market space, which we determine from 50 to 1,000 employees. And as we know, this market with unemployment is being affected drastically from situations such as severe labor shortages. We have the baby boomers retiring. Um, we have rising quit rates for millennials and so on. So it's really an unprecedented time that organizations are challenged with these situations today. And ADP is preparing and continually developing solutions um, from a technology as well as consultant standpoint to help organizations overcome these challenges today. We really want to just briefly um, share these with you and uh, hopefully, you know, we can help you solve these challenges as these are cha the challenges that we see in our clients every day. Go to the next slide there, Tyler. So truly Workforce Now, which is our go-to-market main platform, is a full end-to-end -end, um, HCM suite. Too many misconceptions are that ADP is known as a payroll provider. We are not necessarily, we, we do payroll. We actually do payroll for 32 million employees across the country today. But we do provide a unified single database that provides the full functionality from payroll to HR compliance, to benefits administration, to onboarding, all the way to recruitment and retirement services. These solutions are also available through full mobile functionality providing your employees who are on the go and who require this technology through, through many sources available to your end users. Um, in addition to that, we have a global, pay, a global payroll solution, on-demand pay solutions, and a workforce marketplace that we'll talk to you about in, on the next slide. Please go to the next slide there. ADP definitely understands that we cannot be the best of breed in every solution. Yes, we do provide an integrated payroll and HR solution. We do provide employee managed self-service solution that provides the full end-to-end -end spectrum and suite of products. But there are specific niches based on industry that maybe organizations do require. ADP understanding this, 
houses the largest HR ecosystem marketplace, an open API architecture available to our clients through the H through the through the ADP solution. We have, as I mentioned, over 300 um, partners today, fully vetted through security checks that provide full API open architecture integration into our full HCM suite truly providing you the ability to leverage our solution as well as the solution of our providers to really move your organization forward through the adoption and utilization of technology. As I briefly mentioned, available to all Novia clients is the ADP Advantage program. This is an industry leading implementation program that is a white glove service that is exclusive to organizations within this VAR channel and other predetermined partnership channels. This is a, a program that offers a dedicated account manager, seven years of migration of historical data, custom system configuration, on-site practitioner training, and tailored employee training. Why this is important here is technology is a great solution for all. But, is only, but technology is only as good as long as, as far as you're utilizing that technology. Hence, we want to provide you the ability to customize the solution, but also provide you the means that your, that your leaders, practitioners, as well as employees are truly prepared to leverage and utilize the technology to the best of their ability. In addition to that, we're going to provide you a customized reporting and analytics dashboard. Data analytics or talent analytics in our space is needs to be leveraged more than ever today in our industry to move your organization forward. And data sets are important as well in making these business decisions. But the integrity of these tools is imperative to how they can be leveraged. For instance, our data analytics tools supported by 32 million employees and over 740 customers. No other institutional organization can speak to those data sets from a data integrity standpoint. Lastly, once we've implemented the solution, we definitely want to go back to the subject of utilization. We want to make sure that the organizations are properly utilizing this technology post implementation. We are going to go back after six to eight months of this technology has been implemented in your organization and do a utilization scorecard. We're going to confirm that the technology has been configured and is being custom and customized properly to your means. Or if your means have changed, we will definitely reconfigure that, that, that technology to adapt to your ever-changing needs. In addition to that, we want to make sure that utilization from your employees and practitioners is being leveraged as well. Is there retraining that needs to be done? Have new employees come into the organization that need to be retrained. So we're not just here in the beginning, we're here in the long run. And we're going to make sure that organizations are properly utilizing this technology. As we've seen from previous studies, that organizations typically only utilize HR technology about 33% of utilization scores. We want to make sure that your utilization scores are surpassing the 80% range. And so we want to revisit that technology with you after it's been deployed. Next slide, please, Tyler. So that being said, I want to transfer it really over to Tyler. And we're really excited here to present to you the full HCM end-to-end -end employee experience. Um, I hope you enjoy the technology you're going to see. Once again, please keep in mind, this technology will flow and break down the barrier of your HCM and ERP world and transmit this information back to the GL employee card of your Microsoft Dynamics Suite 365 business side. Tyler, take it away. Okay, hey, great. Thank you very much, Rob. All right, everyone, thank you very much for joining us today on the call. We're gonna cover the Workforce Now demonstration at this time. Uh, really, the goal for us is to give you a good high-level overview of everything end-to-end. -end. Uh, a lot of times when we go into these calls, um, typically, we'll start at what we would call the employee life cycle. A um, little bit of background on me as, once I get the demonstration set up here in just a moment. Um, 
I'm a business consultant with ADP, been here a little over seven years. My role in all of this is to um, walk you through the demonstration of today's solution. We'll keep it open for some Q&A at the end. So I'm going to now share my screen with all of you. And you should be able to see the welcome sign. So this is the Workforce Now portal. Uh, what we're going to be covering today, uh, as mentioned, is everything from how do I recruit somebody into the system, onboarding them. Uh, we're going to go through some of the other key modules that Rob had mentioned through his slides. Uh, just to start here, uh, this front screen here, think of this as a company intranet. Uh, this is what the Workforce Now portal would look like. I typically like to create these through the eyes of the employee. Um, in our calls, a lot of times we try to configure this specifically to different industries, uh, whether that be uh, manufacturing, construction, hospitality, and many others. This front page here is completely configurable. Uh, whether you want to use this for news and announcements, I just want to access something as simple as a pay stub. Maybe it's time for open enrollment, for example. Very easy to do on a daily basis to make sure we can communicate with all employees. For today's call, I thought we would start on what it looks like to hire someone into our system. Where I'd like to start is in the application section. ADP allows companies to be able to uh, maximize their job requisitions by posting out to multiple job boards. Some of the ones we work with are different job boards like Indeed, Monster, Career Builder, Facebook, and also LinkedIn. We give you analytical detail to understand where we're getting the best candidates. This would actually tell me at this point that we're converting about 33% of applications, for example, via Indeed. And it's a great way that you can organize all of the applications internally. Whether we had 48 new applications coming in, 25 offer letters out there, 31 that are currently interviewing, this view would enable you to be able to move people through the steps. A lot of clients utilize this also in many instances to, to get other uh, supervisors or hiring managers involved in that process. We have easy search search functions just like this that allow you to find the candidate you're looking for and other uh, filtering tools. I'll use Kimberlin as our example for today. It breaks it out very similar in a resume format. The candidate would go through this experience of being able to apply. We're pulling a lot of information here. Um, which job was applied, basic info on the front. A great differentiator with ADP2 is when somebody goes to upload a resume in our external career center, it would actually parse the information from the resume and put it in a profile section here. And this goes along with the life cycle of that employee. If we decide to hire Kimberlin at this time, that would all translate right into our HR profile, thus alleviating a lot of duplicate entry. Customize questions, you'll get the responses right back. We can integrate if you're utilizing uh, things like Office 365 or G Suite. You can utilize the interviews and evaluation section, which will pre-populate right on your calendar. Uh, we have different ways of adding in notes, auto communication that's sent out right from this system. And I can move this person through different steps, whether I choose to make an offer, send out a hire, Let's call it a third interview. I can type in notes saying how the second interview went. We have template, templates built out that you can customize and tweak after the fact and easily send off, making that a very easy process to walk through the application section. So that's just to give you a quick taste on what the applicant tracking system would look like through ADP. Just bear in mind that you'll also be able to organize all of your job requisitions right within this system as well. I have a few that are already pre-built out here. Um, if you do have different locations, perhaps, it's a great way that we can organize that out. We can push that again to that external career page that I was speaking to, where the applicant would actually apply. I can see things like aging applications on the job rec. Was there a recruiter involved? Any any costs that we want to keep track of. So it's a great way that we can organize everything internally. This also goes hand in hand with actually hiring that candidate, which brings us to the next piece, which is our onboarding. Um, very popular piece of technology right now. What I'm showing here is actually through the eyes of what in a potential employee would see. 
essentially what happens when you go to hire somebody in our system, you would prompt the first steps of filling out basic personal information in our system, uh, demographic info, and then it would pre-populate the onboarding site just like this. It gives them a very easy, wizard-driven, uh, acclimated process. Your, gives your company a really nice polished look. You'll notice how it pulls in our ADP logo right from the Workforce Now portal. And it would actually walk them through these steps, just like this. We can incorporate and allow managers to go through the steps of being able to put in welcome messages. Maybe you have some company videos out there um, on YouTube or Vimeo. We can include these. Getting them acclimated early on with their own team, who my manager is, my team members. Um, we do have a profile section that would allow them to fill out some basics. When we talk about some of the HR tracking and the ADP tool, this is a perfect example of how we can gather some of these, some of these insights. We can allow employees to fill out and update things like their personal information, address info, demographic details, social security, birth date information. We have EEO1 reporting that comes with the ADP HR suite. Disability status, that's 100, and anything additional that you might be wanting to track, we call these customized fields. You can think of these in many use case scenarios, all customizable to you. The beauty of having this is as they're completing these items, this is all translating right back to the ADP system. The paperwork is one of the most important parts to most of our, most of our clients that we work with, but it would allow this wizard-driven process for the employee to complete things like the I-9, their tax withholdings, acknowledging company policies, employee handbooks. Also bear in mind if you have different subsets of employees, we can create different templates of this onboarding. We don't have to update this every time when we go to hire individuals makes it a lot easier process to get this kick-started when we go to hire. We can gather direct deposit information, emergency contacts, and any additional documentation that you'd be looking to upload. This gives the employee a very seamless process, whether they're utilizing a desktop, uh, even on mobile, we can allow for this. If you have anybody too that might be Spanish speaking, just keep in mind, our portal does convert into Spanish. Same goes with things like our applicant tracking solution, and onboarding. Just to wrap up the onboarding, again, very simple concept. We wanna keep it that way so we get good participation rates from the employees. Um, quick neighborhood section, pulling the location of where they need to be on day one, local places nearby, they can plan their commute below, and ultimately flagging them, here's what still needs your attention. In this case, we skipped a lot of the paperwork items. As a practitioner of the system, you'd understand where the employees are at in that process. They would then have the ability to download things like the mobile application via the App Store or download right through the Google Play, Google Play tool if using an Android device. So now we're going to ping back to the portal screen. And we'll talk through some of the self-service capabilities. As mentioned, mobile is very important to most clients that we work with today. I do have a sample of what that would look like. Um, fun statistic too, we actually have over 20 million users utilizing this mobile application today. Uh, myself, of course, being one of them. And we're able to incorporate every piece of technology within ADP, whether I am utilizing time and attendance through ADP, allowing individuals to clock in and out, setting geofences around locations, um, accessing pay details at a quick glance, W-2 statements, they can view things like their time cards, requesting time off, very easy to do, right on the fly, allowing for approval paths directly to their supervisors. Accessing their benefits information. We have retirement solutions that we can help you with as well from the ADP side administratively. Pushing out news communication via push notification. And recently now allowing for an open enrollment process when it comes to things like benefits while keeping you compliant with the Affordable Care Act. Back into the ADP tool, uh, many self-service options from, that the employee would have access to. Whether I'm just accessing my pay stubs, W-2s that we saw on the mobile application, uh, being able to update after the fact, things like direct deposit, maybe I change bank accounts, Maybe I need to update my tax withholdings. We can allow approval pass in the system. All notification would come through to the direct supervisor. 
this tool is very scalable in that sense. Again, being able to do things like request time off, uh, tracking their time. Many different ways that we can do this in the system, whether utilizing things like a uh, physical time clock, a desktop widget just like this, a mobile application, a lot of different avenues that you can utilize. It doesn't all have to be the same, not a one size fits all. And allowing a very easy process for the employees to record their punches. When we talk about things like time and attendance in our tool, uh, which is very important to a lot of our clients, especially in uh, typically manufacturing environment, um, construction, service industry, and many more. We give the supervisors and main practitioners of the system great insight into what's happening when it comes to things time and attendance related. Who's working as of today? I have missing out punches out here, some time off requests. It all intertwines together very nicely. These types of views allow you to get away from some of the typical reporting, having to sift through time cards constantly. It's intuitive enough to understand different uh, analytical details, saying one of your employees, for example, has been punching in early, more than the rest of the team in January of 2020. Trying to get a better grasp on what your overtime looks like. These are a lot of the areas that we find to be very important to most, if not all, employers out there. And these types of views make it just that much easier. When we take a look at things like time cards, very easy to update after the fact as people are clocking in and out. This would give you a feel for what this would look like. Now we're just tracking a uh, simple employee here with eight hours. I can also toggle very easily back and forth between my screens if I'm looking for perhaps an hourly employee using Ed as our example. We can see things like vacation. I understand based off of the scheduling in the system that Ed had clocked out early on this day, clocked in early, embedding things like your holidays. If I ever needed to make an update to this, confirming that Ed actually did work, his regular shift to 1130. I make the change, I save, and I ultimately approve the time card. We can create these approval paths very easily in our system. Another very popular screen typically when we're talking into time and attendance, again, is intertwining the uh, paid time off alongside with the actual punches. This view allows for an annual summary to understand some of those trends on an employee. We're taking a look up top here at January all the way through December. This would tell me things, for example, in green indicates to me that Ed had worked regular hours this pay period. I can check off these categories and understand that Maybe we're experiencing overtime, especially these two weeks here in July. Why is that? Maybe I've had a time card discrepancy. On the 22nd, Ed said, no way I came in late. Yes, you did. We have the detail view right here. <laughs> so as you can see, this would give you a full grasp to understand what's happening with an employee. Are they calling out sick? Uh, are we experiencing overtime? All the infractions that are happening, time and attendance related. Um, when it comes to things like our HR solution, um, I'd be remiss if we did not talk to this. Typically, we start in the personal profile, and this is going to house a lot of the crucial um, basic information that we would be wanting to track on an employee. One of the key differentiators with ADP is around our reporting. We have about 172 standardized reports that you can utilize. You'll see how we categorize these just like this. However, sometimes you find that you want to create customized reports. The Field Grabber tool up top will pull a screen over on the right-hand side, hence the name Field Grabber will do just that. As you can tell, once you start getting familiarized with some of these screens, we can go through and just start checking things like first and last name, hire date. I also have the ability to toggle back and forth between screens because maybe it's important for me to understand uh, just something as basic as finding salaries. Maybe it's also helpful for me to filter this out for example, by, de by department. So all I did was I fi pulled five random fields within the system. It allows me to create the report right on the fly and takes me into my custom report writer. Bear in mind, once we get here after the fact, I didn't have to pull every single field. We do categorize these. I have drag and drop functionality that make it very easy if I'm looking for something else that I missed. Maybe it was home address. I drag, I drop. 
and it starts producing that information. As I had mentioned, I wanted to throw a filter on here too. As you can see, very easy to throw a filter, and maybe I needed this for only my corporate staff. I apply the change, I save and run. We can produce this in multiple formats. We can also schedule these to run. Some of my clients want specific reports, for example, every Friday by noon. We could do just that. We update you when the report is ready, and you have your most up-to-date information. That report is now saved moving forward. Okay, moving along. Um, when we talk about some of the other profiles here in the ADP system, um, certainly wanted to bring up the statutory compliance section. This is big around our HR module, and this is going to house a lot of items, things like your I-9 citizenship, EEO details, FMLA tracking, um, OSHA events is a very big one. We have these types of reports that come standard with our system. We have things like the new EEO-1 reporting, OSHA 300 forms. Many of our clients also require to track things like license certification tracking. Um, maybe they're looking for somebody with uh, specific skills, for example. We can also capture these items. We can also allow the employee, of course, on their behalf to be able to edit this information all throughout their employment with the company. Anyone that's looking to go paperless, this employee document screen is very important. It would allow you to do just that. Bear in mind also that we do allow for unlimited documentation here to be stored on any employee. There's a lot of different things that we can do with it. Um, number one is we actually categorize and subcategorize documentation in our system. I'm tracking things here like a first aid completion certificate. I've got HIPAA compliance documentation in here. There's many different file types as you can tell that we can embed. So not just a Word document or PDF, I can embed things like PowerPoint, maybe it's images, media clips. A lot of clients will typically utilize, I can use first aid completion certificate as this example, and we can actually edit the properties to say, I wanna set an expiration date, which would send the employee a notification 30, 15, and five days prior, anything expiring taking that proactive approach when it comes to their documentation. We can also require things like electronic signatures. Very important for a lot of our clients too to understand and have that audit history or that audit trail, just knowing who's importing documentation, who viewed, uh, did somebody download, was their electronic signature pending or done on a particular document, it's all right there. If someone should not be privy to certain information, we can get very creative in turning off these categories for, let's call it managers. We spoke briefly too on the, uh, the benefits on the ADP mobile application. So I'm actually going to cover that here through the desktop view. The best way I like to preface benefits typically, uh, our implementation group does a really great job here. Uh, you don't necessarily have to have the benefits through ADP. We can take your current plans upload them into our system, and we can allow for an open enrollment process for your employees. We equate this to online shopping. It's very easy, and it's very tough when you do this, having to go back to the paper process from what we found. There's a quick welcome screen here that says, the final day to enroll is last month. Is there anything changing? It allows the employee to go through the steps just like this, starting up top with their medical insurance. Very transparent. Multiple plans can be pre-built right within this system. I have everything from medical down to pet insurance. We're tracking per pay period. I could also take a look at a monthly or even an annual basis, making sure that the employees are making the right decisions for themselves and their families. There also might be a really good chance that some of your employees have spouses as well that works for a company and utilizes ADP. They could actually compare side by side. We can update dependent beneficiary details in here. If there's any mid-year changes, that can be documented. And ultimately giving the employees their summary of benefits. It alleviates them from having to come to HR and ask for these questions. It's all right here, very transparent. And if I decide that everything looks correct here, I can just simply submit my enrollment. A lot of questions I typically get when I go through these calls is, how do I manage all of this as a main administrator of the system? 
we give you a great benefits dashboard. These are scattered all throughout with most of the solutions that we do have. This would actually tell me that I have 230 folks that haven't started the process. What I can do is send a quick nudge or communication. I can see, has anyone completed? Maybe this goes to for my new hire enrollments. We'll give you full visibility to understand what's happening. Alongside with the benefits summary on the administrator's side. We can capture things like the benefits enrollment. Did an employee, for example, waive a plan? What's the reason why? We embed all of this in our system to make that a seamless process. This all gets tied in very easily when it comes to things like the Affordable Care Act. What we do at ADP is we're gonna take a look at your benefits information. Is it meeting minimal essential coverage? Is it affordable? We also take a look at the hours and, and post payroll hours to determine your full-time equivalency. We're able to break out in this benefits section, your employee categories, hourly, seasonal versus salaried, for example. I have 99 individuals that fall full-time, six that fall in the part-time category. And we can base all of this off of your standard and initial measurement periods. ADP would take care of all the 1094 and 1095 filings on your behalf. A couple other um, features when it comes to the HR solution is we're able to also help a lot of our clients out when it comes to things like performance reviews, uh, being able to track goals or KPIs for employees. There's a tool within the system that does just that. Uh, I'm going to start here at performance goals. So just imagine if I were a supervisor, I wanted to get an understanding on how many goals we have, number one, for Lawrence, what are those goals, and where is Lawrence at through that process. You will notice that we can set things like organizational goals. Maybe it's a team goal that the manager set, or it's a personal goal that Lawrence set for himself. You're able to keep track of the milestones through this process, type in comments, and we can move up the achievement line just like this. So that way everyone's on the same page. With tracking the goals, we can also tie these directly into a performance review process. In many cases, clients will typically do an annual review. However, we do have the ability to do things like new hire reviews, disciplinary reviews, or even performance improvement plans. Maybe you do a quarterly review very customizable in that sense. This would give you an idea for how we can set things like a timeline of where we want our review process to end, where we're at in that process. As we can see here, the first step is reviewer receives feedback from contributors. Excellent. We're a little stuck here. So what we did, we pushed out a self-evaluation to the employees to complete. I have a couple of individuals that did not do that. I can nudge those employees that have pending reviews. By the way, we can also automate the communication process to say, if someone is not completing within, let's call it seven days, re-remind the employee. It's all done fully automated. And that way you have your full timeline. I have a quick example of what a performance review form would look like in this case. We can also allow for 360 uh, reviews when it comes to peer-to-peer -peer reviews. In this particular review, We've attached two of Lawrence's goals. We have six questions specific to our company, and we've also tied three competencies specifically to the job titles themselves. We can also have the ability to wait out things like goals, for example. Customizable rating scales. And I would simply go through this process as a manager or even HR to be able to complete this review form. As I scroll to the bottom, there would be a section that would tell me an overall rating and if I want to add in any additional attachments at this time. This is a great way if you're looking to go paperless with your performance review process and also automate as well. Uh, we touched on some of the basics when it comes to the em employee self-service. Just a couple other pieces to note here. Um, very popular with a lot of our clients today, but total reward statement. Uh, when we talk about employees getting engaged at work, this is one way that we can do just that. A lot of times they're just looking at their pay stub. I can also do that right here looking at my base earnings, but what I also might not understand is 
what I'm getting from employer provided benefits. We can incorporate those here just like this. So that way I know what my employer is paying into my benefits. Tax related information. Maybe I want to include my retirement benefits. I can then also download my statement just like this. A great engagement tool that we can provide back to the employees and they'd be able to have this right at their fingertips. Now, the next piece I wanted to um, generate here, uh, the, the last part to wrap up when it comes to the HR tracking, we did talk into the performance reviews. There's a way that we can also pay employees here and organize the process. There's a tool we have uh, called compensation in our system that would allow you to create a compensation event. We could utilize that in the scenario of maybe we just rolled out a performance review process and we want to push out an annual merit increase. Maybe we could just do something as simple as a cost of living adjustment or even a quarterly spot bonus, let's call it. This would essentially allow you to create budgets in our system. We could delegate this out to management, for example, and set the criteria, including things like performance ratings. For example, for Lawrence, meeting job requirements gives a 1% reward. What would that look like after the fact? and would also allow the supervisor to really dig in and understand what's been happening over the years, pulling in things like their compensation history, again, setting the scale where my recommendation should be in this case, and then applying my recommendation, moving that up the steps and ultimately pushing that for payroll purposes. So when we talk about the, the last piece of one of the core modules before we get into some additional reporting, uh, we did look at the time and attendance solution. Whether you utilize ADP for time and attendance, maybe you're utilizing a third party, for example, or maybe you're in hospitality utilizing a POS system, looking to pull hours, tips, information, and we can do all of that uh, very easily, even if you're not utilizing our time. This is what the payroll cycle would look like. We're looking at week 10 input. We can understand things like new hires or rehires. Maybe I missed a termination this pay period. We're able to pull in our time and time off information directly into a pay grid and ultimately giving you the details at the end, breaking out things like your gross pay, actually previewing what the payroll looks like before we hit the process button. I can also compare historical data if I wanted to take a look at week four versus week six results, for example. We'll see how these numbers change all throughout. Everything here is very robust in nature. All of your reports are downloadable on the right side here when it comes to things like pay registers. Maybe I don't wanna pull the report itself, I just need to take a quick spot check. We allow for quick screens so you can take a look at every employee just like this. With alternative filtering tools to maybe say, I wanna look, look at my paid in department holistically. As you process, we're able to produce these reports after the fact through our additional reporting tool. That would archive all of your post payroll processings, housing things like your pay registers, checks and vouchers, everything right there at your disposal. One of the big uh, important pieces that, of course, we were highlighting today on this call was the integration with the Microsoft Dynamics system. Typically, you'll see in most payroll systems uh, creating a GL ready file to import. The benefit of having it through Dynamics, however, is we have that pre built integration. After you process payroll, we can actually push that data directly to Microsoft Dynamics into your chart of accounts. Same goes when we hire individuals in our system. When we go through the hiring process, we start filling out some of the basic fields that would translate that type of information to set them up in the Microsoft Dynamics system. And that's how the integration would work. Lastly, the big portion that uh, we always like to talk about, of course, is understanding uh, things like your company insights or analytics. This is a very robust tool that would give you a full scope to understand what's happening internally with your company. We can pull a lot of the details when it comes to some of our standard reports, but it can't produce it in a fashion that we're going to see here in just a moment. 
think of this dashboard view to understand things like what do my benefits look like, maybe my headcount detail. Um, we have ways of looking at your metrics. We break them out into different categories. We looked at things like HR, benefits, payroll, time and attendance, for example. I'm able to easily dig in and understand things. Maybe it's important for me to understand my turnover rate. This is the output of the data, which by the way, we have a lot of. As we can see here, we have things like benchmarks. We're pulling across almost 30 million employees. That's thousands and thousands of organizations that ADP works with. We have a very large data set here, but I can understand what my turnover rate looks like. Maybe I want to use a benchmark based off of my specific industry to understand where I'm measuring up against other companies. We also have other ways of filtering the tools out just like this. Maybe I need to understand based off of a certain age. Maybe we're experiencing our millennial workforce is leaving. Why is that? I can also take a look at this on a quarterly detail just like this, my overall turnover percentage over time. We can export these into multiple formats. I could even share internally with some of my management staff, for example. When we talked about mobile prior, which I'm going to bring up again, just one moment here. When we talk about things like insights, we can send this out to managers. Managers can say, I'm losing talent in Nashville twice as far as the rest of my organization. Why is that? We can actually pull metrics right from our mobile application and really dig into the details just like this, using our turnover rate, again, as that example. We're also able to help our clients in many other facets. Um, when we talk about the benchmarking tools with ADP, important to a lot of clients in many states, things like pay equity. As it says up top, trying to understand potential pay gaps between perhaps different ethnicities, genders, we pull all of this data, you can document right in our system. The ability to understand our turnover, why is it happening? We take into account multiple factors. In this case, we're triggering that we have 50 employees in my database specifically that might have high turnover probability. Why is that the case? I can dig into John and understand it might be because of his tenure. Maybe he's been in his current role too long. All the way down to things like commute distance that we might not think about. I've had clients get very creative in saying, maybe we'd let John work from home once a week to alleviate his commute time because we wanna make sure we keep our top talent. And lastly, trying to understand where we're at as far as compensation is concerned. Very important, one of the big key turnover factors that we typically find. We're able to actually dig in to different job titles, which we can help produce for you, and even drill down and filter into specific locations. For example, when I pull things like human resource managers, it would actually show me that we're pulling data just on human resource manager, almost 20,000 organizations, I've got 41,000 employees that we're pulling this data set from. I can dig down by region, sub-region. Maybe I'm looking for a specific state. I can dig into these details very easily. Using New Jersey as an example. Scrolling down would give me the detail as the system that does load the information. Telling me things like base salary, where we would need to be, where we're at. Total cash compensation, including overtime. Uh, maybe we want to include things like bonuses in here. So as you can see, this would keep you on top of the compensation for any jobs that we're tracking in the system and being able to filter down by state, uh, even a specific region, can help alleviate some of that turnover within your organization. Okay, so with that being said, uh, that concludes the high-level overview of the demonstration. We do realize every client, uh, in fact, is unique, and that's why we would love to have one-off conversations with you if, if interested in the solution. At this time, uh, Angie, I will pass it over to you, and we can open it up for any questions.
All right. Well, it doesn't look like we have any questions for uh, you guys today. Um, thank you both for presenting, Rob and Tyler, and to everyone on today's call. We thank you for uh, joining us, or if you're watching on demand, thank you. We appreciate that. And to let you know, we do have a few more uh, webinars coming soon. On February 12th, tomorrow, we have Pat from Anovia Consulting, and she's going to be presenting on full licensing versus team licensing users in Business Central. And then we have Gino Pack from Anovia Consulting, and he's going to be presenting on Microsoft Flow is now Power Automate. So check out our website for more of our upcoming events, and that's anovia.com slash events. And I also want to let you know of our podcast that is going on, if you have not heard of it already. It's called the Anovia Conversation. We want to encourage you to listen to our selection that Steve and Jeff have provided to us over the last year. They do about two episodes a month. You can find out about all the different podcast platforms to listen to on our podcast page, and that's anovia.com slash podcast. So check out the selection and subscribe so you'll be notified when those new episodes air. And lastly, Inovia is uh, doing our annual customer conference coming up in May, May 20th and 21st here in South Bend, Indiana. Contact your rep or visit our conference page where we have all the details for our conference, and that's inovia.com slash conferences. This is a free event to attend, and we would love to have you. So register now so you won't miss out on this great event. And also ADP uh, will be one of our um, ISVs that will be presenting at our conference. So uh, you can come and see more of what they have to offer. All right, well, we thank you again for joining us and we look forward to seeing you again soon on another Anovia webinar. Have a great day, everyone. Thank you.